Welcome Cancer, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of May the 11th to the 18th, 2020. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sh and sharing these videos. Also, especially subscribing. When you do subscribe, be sure to click the option ALL, make the bell ring, and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings, or if I'm going live out on Google Chats, you'll be notified immediately. If you have your favorite YouTube creators, do the same for them, and then you'll be in constant contact with them when they're out here to view. You won't get left behind. As you know, this is a collective general reading, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, Cancers. But take what you can from it. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information you need to know is posted in that information box below this video. So again today, the, the, the reading and the spread that I have out here is similar to the Celtic Cross. Uh, this is the situation where you are now. This is your foundation card. Uh, this is your crowning energy. This is what's going to benefit you. And this is the outcome card. You will be giving a theme card, an additional tea leaf card, and in conclusion, you will have a Lennerman message here, another oracle message to tie in this beautiful reading. So um, let's see what we have here uh, for our theme. I'm going to start off with the theme first. And you've been given the card Talisman. And that says, a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek in a situation or a phase you're going through right now. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your personal journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices you need to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. So the theme here today is about lessons that you're being taught. Throughout this reading and throughout this week, there may be situations coming up that will require you to step up, step up and handle them in the best way you can for your greater good. But doing it with grace and gratitude, doing it with grace and dignity, uh, not doing things uh, that will allow you or make you have to look back with regret. So be careful. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't see anything, uh, you know, anything distressing in this theme this week at all. OK, so it's, you know, it's the lessons you've learned that have made you wiser and you've learned from the past how to deal with any challenges this week. Now, your very first card you've got in your situation where you are now is the Hermit. And it is the Epiphany card in the uh, Angel Tarot. And the number on it is a nine. And the nine is all about vision and seeing your future unfold, okay, with vision. Also, it, it implies that you should not make promises that you might not be able to fulfill. But it is about fulfillment. It's about luck. It's about fate. And it's about you achieving a goal that you've been working on for a very long time. You're going to grow spiritually. Okay? You also have the ability to be and the resources now to see your path starting to illuminate. You're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. You have assistance. You're not a you know, you're not lost. You're out there searching for what it is you want on your journey. But the good thing about it is, Cancer, you know what it is you want. You're not lost searching for something you're missing, okay? Also, you're going to tap into your higher self. 
you're going to do, and so many people, all the signs are doing this at this time, are tapping into their spiritual higher self. They're doing more meditation. They're getting out and they're Googling and they're getting YouTube videos that are allowing them to sit in the silence. Uh, you know, bringing up their energy vibration to a higher level where they are going to be able to open the crown chakra to receive this information and the third eye to be able to visualize it. And that's what's happening here. That's what the hermit is, is, is showing up here in this reading for. You are searching, but you're going to be able to find what it is you want. Now, some of you actually are going to do this for other people. You're going to be the light, the beacon. You're going to be a mentor or a teacher, the best friend, the best wife, the best aunt, the best cousin, the best sister, whatever, the best friend for someone. And you're stepping up now, cancers, to help them, to show them the light to elevate them, to realize they can move forward in this positive direction as well. So this is about you getting together with the divine spirit, getting together with your team of angelic beings to bring in your elevated energy and vibration. And you're going to do this. You're moving forward. This is taking time. When, you, when we see the hermit come in, the hermit is about isolating. The hermit is about, uh, often it has to do with, sometimes with the hermit, you may withdraw, okay? You might want to detach from people around you, a relationship, a situation, or even the energy that others bring into your circle, okay? Some of you may feel that you've been discriminated against, all right? And you're looking for guidance and, and direction. You may want to feel at this time, some of you, you want to withdraw from a relationship to let this relationship unfold on its own. When there is the equation in any relationship, there's more than one party involved. And sometimes we cannot partake in it or control it or change it. We have to step back, take a deep breath and let the other parties take responsibility for that energy and to deal with it on their own way. So, you know what, this is about your need to look within for answers, to do some soul searching, or to take a break from the rat race or other people's opinions, okay? I want you to reflect carefully before you make a choice and avoid rushing ahead with plans that could push others into doing something against their better judgment. If you're seeking guidance for a relationship issue, think long and hard before committing yourself to any long-term plans at this moment. Take a step backward. Look at the patterns of behavior, emotions, and feelings in any past relationships to give you insight into whether you're taking the right pathway. You know, the hermit also signifies that inner healing may be needed in order to create a more emotionally balanced way of looking at your life. Look into your inner guide, whether a spiritual belief, deity, or simply a guardian angel. Whatever you put your trust and faith in will guide you out of any darkness and into the light again. The Hermit stands for stillness, calm, guidance, and you may need to seek the advice from an older friend, family member, or a wise mentor. Okay, so this isn't a bad thing, okay? This is just saying that some of you may need to detach from a situation or a relationship that may be going through struggles. They may be going through struggles on their own, and you need to detach from that and let them sort it out, okay? Don't allow that stress to rob you of your joy within you today all right so look for the direction and the guidance all right look for the direction and the guidance and lean into your spiritual guides for that you've been given in the <clears throat> in the foundation area here of your week you've been given the fool better known as the leap of faith so, you know, you may be coming out of withdrawing. You may be, you've seen the light. You have the assistance. You're, you're able to see the situation clearly now with the hermit energy. And now you're going to be able to take that beautiful leap of faith, stepping up, believing in yourself, listening to your heart and doing what makes you, uh, you know, you give joy and whatever gives you joy and whatever helps you feel this joyful energy. This is, this is saying that you're safe, you're protected. You're able now to step up and make the plans that you've been wanting to make for a very long time. 
don't be afraid. If this has to do with taking a leap into a relationship, a partnership, a business situation, a new job, a new move, relocating, traveling to some distant place you've always yearned and wanted to go. And when you're able to do this, you may want to just take that leap of faith. Don't be afraid. You know, um, if we don't risk, we may eventually regret. So take that leap of faith, my beautiful, beautiful Cancers. Know that you're safe, you're protected, and you are doing what you need to do to bring you to your peace and joy and happiness. Crowning this reading are decisions and choices you have to make on a very emotional level. Seven of Raphael, Seven of Cups. Time to make a decision and be clear on what it is you want and take action. You know, this is, as I say, the eeny, meeny, miny card that you've heard me talk about before. And this is about you maybe getting more than one option coming towards you, more than one opportunity. And you're indecisive. And perhaps this is why you've gone into the hermit mode. You've taken yourself within, you've detached, and you're thinking about it. What do you want to do? Where is it you want to go? What's going to bring you to your greater good? Well, you're going to make that decision, okay? And it's time to do that because you want to take this leap of faith and move forward into your future. So don't be afraid. <clears throat> this also talks about getting rid of it no longer serves you. This is a detoxification card, very similar uh, to the meaning that comes from uh, the decision card, which is the devil, and that's about making decisions too. And the Seven of Cups is on a very emotional level. It could have to do with a relationship. It could have to do with something very close to your heart that you need to make a decision about, all right? Maybe it's involved around friendship, coworkers. Maybe it's about a cause that you're, uh, that you're working on, that you're an advocate for. But I do see that you're going to be able to make the right one, okay? And you're going to be removing any negative energy around you that isn't helping you expand, grow, and move forward on your, this part of your journey. And that means sometimes walking away from certain people, walking away from, you know, maybe a job that you had in the past that you now are not going to be able to go back to, but you're going to make a decision to be able to make the right choice that's going to benefit you. So don't be afraid. Make that decision so that you can move forward and take that leap of faith into your brand new new journey and future now what's going to benefit you what's going to benefit you is knowing that as long as you stand up for what you believe in and you have confidence in yourself and the direction you want to go and the cause that you've been fighting for and what it is that you want more than anything in your life whether it's a relationship your perfect career you know, good health, happiness for your family, foundation and security. You can claim this personal power. <clears throat> Excuse me. It shows me that you're pushing through and you have continued to do this throughout all of these conflicts that you've been dealing with around your life. You never gave up. You never wavered. You never threw your hands over your head and said, I can't do this anymore. No. You knew that what you wanted was more important for your greater good. So you persevered, you pushed on, and you're going to continue to do that, Cancer. Do not give up. This is what you're meant to do, where you're meant to be, so you can take this beautiful leap of faith into your brand new, happy, joyful future. Wow. Powerful message. <clears throat> your outcome card is the Knight of Pentacles. And you've heard me say this before numerous times. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, okay? He's not charging into a situation. Uh, he is sitting there and he is contemplating what it is he wants. Uh, some of you, it may be working on your next career move, your job, uh, you know, that part of your life, and you're working on it. And some of you, it could be a new relationship. It could be relocating. Um, but there is so much that you're going to be able to accomplish now if you make a very detailed plan. And that is taking your time, sitting down and deciding and making those choices and decisions that you need to make, going within yourself into the silence by yourself, because this is you, this is your life, your situation, your walk on the journey, nobody else's. It doesn't, you don't need to bring others into this equation. This reading is all about you, Cancer, and your personal 
uh, personal walk on your journey. So make out this plan. Where is it you want to go? And prioritize it. Click, click, click off of those, all those things on that written priority list that you need to accomplish to get yourself there to take that leap of faith. And you're going to do it because like it says, be, you know, uh, you, you, you've got so much to accomplish here and you're going to be able to do it. And know that you're being watched over. You may have someone in your circle close to you that's there protecting you, guiding you, and, uh, and helping you through this situation, supporting you. But it also means that there could be a guardian angel that's around you, someone who's trustworthy and understanding and devoted. Okay? And that's what they do. They're there to guide you. But it could also be a person in your life. All right. And, you know, the person in your life could be uh, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn energy, because this is the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So this, you know, and this is a card card. So there could be the energy of that and someone around you that's going to be able to mentor and guide you. Perhaps it's someone who is going to step up and say, hey, I heard through the grapevine that somebody's hiring. Check it out. Or, you know, um, have you considered looking into this for some residual money? Check it out. Okay, so it could be somebody like that as well. But it's not moving quickly. Okay, this situation isn't going to come into you really fast because this knight is a slower moving knight. He's calculated, he's careful, he crosses his T's, he dots his I's, and he's making out a detailed plan so that he isn't going to fail. And he's not. Look at all the yellow around him. All, the more yellow you see in a card, the more promising the information and the energy coming to you is. Beautiful. Now, coming in with your tea leaf message, you have been given a bouquet. You might be getting a compliment from an admirer. So some of you may be, you know, receiving a gift in the form of appreciation, respect, love, attention, affection. Okay? Someone's grateful that they have you in their life. And someone's going to step forward and make that known. Wow, how lucky is that for you, Cancer? So get ready for this. You deserve it. You've been there for them, obviously. And they want to let you know how much they care for you. And I really hope it comes in the form of a bouquet of beautiful flowers. And we can give flowers to men, too. Don't ever think that we can't. It's not a man or a woman thing here. Gifts of flowers are beautiful for anybody. Your final outcome card here with the Lennerman Oracle message. Spirit, please give me the card here for my beautiful Cancers. What they need to know about the week of May the 11th to the 18th. Oops, there we go. Doesn't surprise, excuse me, doesn't surprise me you've been given the staircase. And I had talked about here choices that you need to make. This is about choices again. And you might get two offers and two options. Okay, do I go here? Do I go there? Do I accept this one? Do I accept that one? You can't make a mistake. Both of these are beautiful illuminated doors for you to open. So step up. Don't be afraid. Make that decision to go forward and answer the door when opportunity knocks, my beautiful cancers. There's going to be a knock coming to your door. And you're going to know immediately when you open it. It was the best decision you ever made. You've got the 22 on here. Two is to do with balance, reflection, duality, and sometimes dealing with opposites. Uh, it has to do with negotiating and cooperating and adapting the situation to your fulfillment. So two is a beautiful number. And it could be you and, a one, and another person that this decision and choice is going to be about. Well, my beautiful Cancers, this is your reading, as I said, for the week of May the 11th to the 18th. I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here for you to look forward to. And never forget how far you've come, everything you have gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed no matter how hard it was, all the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all the challenges that you've had to deal with. And remember, the universe and the divine want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Now, I have to tell you something funny. You've been seeing me remove <laughs> these from my desk. 
My husband is sitting behind me with his headphones, obviously listening to music, and every so often he wants to sing, he wants to hum, or he wants to whistle. So I've been throwing these at him across the room to tell him he needs to be quiet while I'm doing my video. So I had to share you that little tidbit of humor. Anyway, I wish you a great remainder today, as I said, and know that my prayers and blessings for you today are for continued good health. Please play safe, be safe, and see you soon.